Revision of congruence of triangles. You must have seen biscuits of same brand look alike. Erasers of same brand look alike. Pens of same brand look alike. Why? Because they all have same shape and same size. Such objects are congruent. Congruence of plane figure. If you superimpose one plane on the other, then it is going to exactly overlap. That means those two plane figures are congruent. Congruence among line segments. Two line segments are said to be congruent when they are equal in measure. Their lengths are same. For example, AB is equal to 5 cm and CD is equal to 5 cm. Then AB is congruent to CD or you can say AB is equal to CD. Congruence of angles. Two angles are said to be congruent if they have the same measure. If angle A is equal to 50 degrees and angle B is equal to 50 degrees, then we say angle A is congruent to angle B. Or you can say angle A is equal to angle B. To understand the congruence of triangles, let us take this question. This is the congruency symbol. So th this question says if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED under the correspondence ABC corresponding to FED, write all the corresponding congruent parts of the triangle. So you know that triangles has got six elements, three angles and three sides. So I am going to name this triangle as triangle A, B, C. A, B, C is corresponding to F, E, D. So A is corresponding to F, B is corresponding to E and C is corresponding to D. A, B, C and F, E, D, they, it is a plane figure. So when you superimpose F, E, D on A, B, C, F is going to overlap with A, E is going to overlap with B and D is going to overlap with C. So as I told that triangles has got six elements, let us write down the corresponding angles first. So angle A is corresponding to angle F. Angle B is corresponding to angle E. Angle C is corresponding to angle D. These angles are going to exactly overlap when these two triangles are superimposed on each other. And the sides also corresponding sides. AB is corresponding to FE. BC is corresponding to ED and AC is corresponding to FD. So when these two triangles are congruent, the corresponding parts are also equal. All the corresponding angles are equal, all the corresponding sides are equal. Now, criteria for congruence of triangle. Let us discuss SSS congruency criteria with the help of this example. ABDC is a rectangle. Prove that triangle ACD is congruent to triangle DBA. ACD is this triangle. DBA is this triangle. So it says ABDC is a rectangle. That means both the opposite sides are equal. AC is equal to BD and AB is equal to CD. Let us write this down. Here AC is equal to BD and AB is equal to CD because both are the opposite sides of a rectangle and opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. And AD is common in both the triangles. So AD is equal to AD because it is common in both the triangles. So triangle ACD is congruent to triangle DBA. D B A by S S S congruency criteria. S S S means 
side 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 two triangles are said to be congruent by sss congruency criteria when the corresponding sides are equal all the three corresponding sides are equal so we say that these two triangles are congruent by side 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 sss congruency criteria sss congruency criteria let us understand this with the help of this question in the figure given below the congruent parts are marked prove that triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad so congruent parts are marked ad is equals to bc this angle is equals to this angle and this angle is equals to this angle so let us write down the equal parts so here ad is equals to bc here ad is equals to bc ad is in triangle bad and bc is in triangle abc now this angle is equals to this angle this angle is equals to this angle this whole angle is equal to this whole angle and this angle is angle bad so angle bad is equals to angle abc angle a b c so this is in triangle bad and this is in triangle abc these two are equal now you see you have proved these two sides equal and this angle these two angles equal and ab is common in both the triangles bad and abc so let us write down ab is equals to ab so here this angle is included between these two sides and this angle is included between these two sides and these two sides are equal this side is equals to this side and this side is common so the therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad by s a s congruency criteria sas means side angle side the angle is included between the two sides if under correspondence two sides of one triangle and the angle included between them are equal to corresponding two sides and the angle included between them then those two triangles are said to be congruent asa let us understand this with the help of this question in the given figure below ab equals to cd and ab is parallel to cd prove that triangle aob is congruent to triangle doc so let us mark which two sides are they have given equal ab is equals to cd and ab is parallel to cd you need to prove these two triangles are congruent so here this angle is equals to this angle because they are alternate interior angles similarly this angle is equals to this angle again same reason alternate interior angles are equal and this side ab is equals to cd so let us write down all the three conditions so first one is angle a is equals to angle d angle b is equals to angle c and ab is equals to cd this is given a angle a is equals to angle d because alternate interior angles are equal angle b equals to angle c because the alternate interior angles are equal ab is equals to cd that is given in the question so therefore these two triangles are congruent by a s a therefore triangle a o b is congruent to triangle d o c by a s a 
congruency criteria. ASA means angle, side, angle. The side is included between the angle. Here you see this side is included between these two angles. And the corresponding angles also they are including this side. These two angles are including this side. So if under correspondence two angles and the side included between them of one triangle uh, are equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side between them of another triangle, then these two triangles are said to be congruent by ASA congruency criteria, RHS congruency criteria. Let us understand with the help of this question. In the figure given below, the congruent parts are marked. Prove that triangle BAC is congruent to triangle CDB. So here AB is equal to CD. And these two angles are equals to 90 degrees. So let us write down what are the parts equal. So angle A is equals to angle D because that is equals to 90 degrees. And then BC is common in these two triangles, triangle BAC and CDB. BC is common. So let us write down BC is equals to BC and AB is equals to CD they have already given AB is equals to CD so in triangle BAC angle A and in triangle BCD angle D these two angles are equals to 90 degrees and BC is common for these two triangles and AB of this triangle and CD of this triangle, they are equal. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by RHS. Therefore, triangle BAC is congruent to triangle CDB by RHS. RHS means? right angled, hypotenuse and side. So here you see angle A equals to angle D that is right angle. H is for hypotenuse. Here hypotenuse is BC. S is side. Here AB and CD are the sides. If under correspondence the hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle are respectively equals to the hypotenuse and one side of another right angle triangle then those those two triangles are said to be congruent by RHS congruency criteria. Complete the congruence statement. So these two triangles are given to you. Here triangle QRS. QRS is this triangle. It is congruent to this. But you need to find out the corresponding parts to write down the which triangle is congruent to triangle QRS. So here you see Q. Q is this. Q is equals to T of this triangle. So triangle Q is corresponding to T because they have marked it equal. R. R is here. R is equals to P, they have already given, they have marked it. So, R is corresponding to P and S and Q. They have marked it equal by showing this dot. So, S is corresponding to Q. So, triangle QRS is congruent to triangle TPQ.